in this problem we are given vector a vector b there is an unknown vector mod vector uh, vector c and its modulus mod c minus a is given to us as 3 its cross product with a cross b is given angle between a cross b and vector c is given and we have to find a dot c now to solve this particular question we would like to square this as it is going to generate a dot c but in that case we will be needing a square and c square also we know vector a so vector a square is known to us but vector c square is needed to be found out so idea is to get first mod vector c to get mod vector c we can use these two relationships to get mod vector c but to use this to get mod vector c we need to find modulus of a cross b also so first take up these two vectors and try to find out mod a cross b for that we can use lagrange's identity a cross b square is equal to a square b square minus a dot b square now a square is 9 and b square is 2 so that makes it 18 minus a dot b is 3 so that makes it 9 which is 9 so a cross b modulus is 3 now utilizing this we can get mod vector c so by basic definition of cross product a cross b mod mod c sin 30 is equal to 3 the modulus of a cross b we have found out as 3 3 and 3 got cancelled so mod vector c comes out to be equal to 2 now using these relation if i square it i have c square plus a square minus twice c dot a as 3 square that is 9 now c square is 4 a square is 9 minus 9 equals twice c dot a so c dot a is therefore 2 so according to the option option number 3 is the correct answer to this question well, in question number 43 it is a problem of height and distance or you can call it a problem of solution of triangle also here is a triangle and c is the midpoint of segment ab moreover it is given that ap is twice of ab and we intend to find tan beta this is the problem so if we call this as x then this is also as x and ap is twice ab so that makes it 4x now if we want to get tan beta we can say that this angle tan is known to us tan theta is obviously 1 by 4 and we can say that this angle is also known to us complete so tan theta plus beta is known to us and that is obviously half and we need to find tan beta so beta can always be written as theta plus beta minus theta and if we take 10 on both sides we can say this is 10 theta plus beta minus 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 theta plus beta into 10 theta so that is half minus 1 by 4 upon 1 plus 1 by 8 so if we simplify this we get 2 by 9 and 2 by 9 is option number 4 so the correct answer is option number 4 in question number 44 we are uh, the question says 20 meters of wire is available for fencing of a flowered bed in the form of circular sector so this is a circular sector and basically indirectly it is given that the periphery of this particular sector is uh, 20 meters that means we can say that if this is central angle is theta then this much of the length is r theta and this is r this is r so the perimeter becomes 2r plus r theta and this is given to us as 20 now we need to maximize the area bounded by this particular sector the formula for area would be theta by 2 into r square obviously theta and r both are variables but they are connected by this particular relation so we can straight away from here get rid of theta r theta's value is known to us we can put the value of r theta over here so r is separate r theta's value is 20 minus 2 r 
and divided by 2. This is the area. We can say that the area is basically r into 10 minus r. Now, this is a parabola opening downward having two roots 0 and 10. So, obviously, the maximum value is going to occur at r equal to 5 and for that particular value if we get a max then a max is obviously 25. Now, if we take the option, option number 4 is the correct option. 